Your body may be trying to tell you that you have a vitamin B1 or thymine deficiency if you are constantly irritable, cold, if you have a frequent racing pulse, you're feeling fatigued all the time, you're having mood swings, poor concentration, muscle weakness, tingling or numbness in the hands or feet, or if you have a loss of appetite. If you have several of these symptoms, it could be an indication that you have a mild B1 deficiency. In more extreme cases, you may feel peripheral neuropathy, experience trouble walking, or have muscle atrophy. In the most severe cases, you can develop ataxia, which is a loss of coordination. You may have memory loss or even psychosis. B1 deficiency can result from chronic alcohol consumption. Certain medications like diuretics can cause it, and B1 itself is a mild diuretic. You can be on a very restrictive diet or from bariatric surgery. Those can be causes. B1 is water-soluble, and so any excess is not stored in the body. B1 is synergistic, and so it works more potently when used together with other B vitamins. So a B complex vitamin is usually recommended if you are deficient. B1 can help improve your mental attitude and it can help your nervous system. Muscles and heart can benefit from it too. It can even help fight off car sickness as well as air and sea sickness, and it can actually relieve dental post-operative pain. I've even heard that it can help to ward off mosquitoes, though I've yet to experience that. The best nutritional sources for vitamin B1 are brewer's yeast, unrefined cereal grains, rice husk, whole wheat, soybeans, oatmeal, peanuts, organic meat, and most vegetables, bran, and milk. B1 deficiency can come as a result of highly processed foods in your diet, which results in inflammation. And B1, along with a better nutritional intake, can help combat inflammation. Follow me for more health and nutrition tips, and I do look forward to seeing you again next time.